This is part six of the Putting It All Together video series. Now that you've seen how to display records, how to delete a record, how to add a record, let's learn how to update a record. So I'm going to go to my Views folder and I'm going to right mouse click on my Views and say New File and I'm going to type in update student.ejs and then I'm going to paste in some HTML code that I've already written. We'll discuss that. So here's the code that I pasted into the EJS file. And as you look through it, it's got our head section, body section. Uh, don't forget to add your closing HTML tag down at the bottom. You don't see that if I scroll all the way up to the doc type. But I will scroll down a little bit so you just see the body. In the body, we have a form that says that it has a method post and if we ever try to post we're going to go to update student so we'll try to find that route out in our server file and then in the actual form itself we have a label for the student ID an input for student ID label for first name an input a label an input a label and an input and in this case we said that the checkbox had a value of checked and then we have a submit button labeled uh, update. So you might want to pause the video and type all that in. Once again, don't forget your opening doc type and head section. Now that you've typed that form in, this form will be displayed and we'll be able to enter a student ID, a first name, a last name, and an email. And then we'll click update. And it will do a method post and go find a route called update student in our server file index.js. So let's go write our update student route. So of course the first thing you need is you need a get route for that update student EJS so that we can actually show that form on the screen. So you simply write app.get, you specify the route name which is update student. And then if they ever go to the a URL and they go to your host and they type in slash update student, it will go out and the response will be a rendered of the update student EJS file. So now that we have the file that's actually showing, we can see the form on the screen because that will be our get route. Let's go ahead and write our post route if we ever click on the submit button. So here's my post route for the update student. Uh, I broke mine over multiple lines just so you could read it on one screen. First thing we're going to do is if they ever click on that submit button for the post, we'll come to this route, we'll do a connect, and we'll work with the student table, and we'll go find a record where the student ID is equal to the request. Remember, the request is generated for you from the HTML form when you click submit. So the request.body, which is all of the data, in that form and then it will grab the student ID from the whole form in that request. In fact take a look back over to here. Here's the student ID and it will find the name, it will use this name right here to grab the data out of this form for student ID. So it will search to see if it finds a record and if it does it will update that record and it will set the first name column to be the first name from the form, the last name column to be the last name from the form, and the email column to be the email from the form. After it does the update, it will send the result to the student variable, and then we'll redirect back to the home page to display all the data. So let's go ahead and save all that. Let's start Node, and let's see what happens when we run this. So the first thing that I want to do is I just want to show you that the what data is being displayed. So we'll come over to here and do a localhost 3000. Here's the data that we're currently working with. Notice that Minnie Mouse is student ID 6. So let's come here. We'll do an update student. What student ID do we want to work with? Number six, what name do we want to use? Instead of Minnie Mouse, let's change it to Goofy, last name, 
dog. Not really sure what Boofy is. And we'll uncheck emails. Let's click update. We've now updated ID6, change Minnie Mouse to be Goofy Dog. Now let's go see what happens over in our code one more time. So in our code, we have the get, which rendered that update student form so we could see the form actually on the screen and work with it. And then when we click submit, we found the post method called update student in the server, which is right here. And we said go update the table called student where the student ID is equal to the ID from the form. Let's update it and set all of those fields from the form and then send the result to student and send it back to the home page. That's how you can do an update. Let's try one more thing while we're here though. And that is, before we do the direct, in fact, we'll do it right here. I want you to see if you can say console.log req.body dot first name, semicolon. Let's go ahead and come back to our browser. And there's the data we're working with. Let's go back to update student. Let's go change the do goofy dog to be uh, mini mouse again. Update, mini mouse is updated. Let's come back to here and we didn't see anything showing up. Now realize that when you do that, that's probably because you need to stop your console and start it again. So let's go ahead and stop our console. One thing I do want you to see though is when we said console.logreq.body. Dot, notice we can see these fields. So that will help us out. Let's save that one more time. Go back to terminal, new terminal, run node one more time. And let's go live again. Local host. Update student. Record six, which was Minnie Mouse. Change it back to Goofy Dog. Update. It's now Goofy Dog. Come back to here. And it displays Goofy for us. So depending on where you do this, console.log something weird might happen with the body. Let's take this console.log out of here. Because remember we had a problem earlier where we didn't, we saw an undefined. If I put that console.log somewhere else, if you put it here after the connect, let's go run this one more time. We should even just be able to come back to here, run the update student, work with six, change it back to mini mouse, update. We're still seeing that uh, console.log with the first name. So in this case, depending on what we were doing and the order that we put it in, it's working. But if you remember earlier when we did our add, we did that insert. This was showing undefined. So maybe there's something different regarding our insert that we're working with, doing the add, and doing the update. But do be aware that you can pull the attributes out of the body based upon what you called them over here in the form. And that's a way that you can actually either use the whole body, like we did in the insert, or pull specific fields out of the form by specifying the name of the object from the form. And that's how we can do an update working with forms.